in today's session, we're going to be talking about TLS 1.3, right? And in Pacific, why is TLS 1.3 more secure than TLS 1.3, right? And why it's, you know, has, it's, it's faster, right? Um, so let's look at our scenario first of all, right? So we have a client on the left-hand side, our server on the right-hand side. We want to get to our established secure channel at the back at the bottom where we're encrypting traffic back and forth and TLS is broken down into that handshake bit and the actual finishing aspects of it, right? So really, you know, what we initially do is the client actually sends that hello packet over, right? So just to keep that in mind there, and it's actually, um, so in TLS 1.3, right? Um, one of the main thing here is, is that, you know, it's a single round trip, right? So basically what we have is in, as opposed to two round trips, we actually have a single round trip here. So we have a hello from, from the server and a hello to the client, right? So that's that single. So basically we have that one round trip, okay? And the reason why we have that one round trip, like a shorter handshake, is because in the initial hello that's actually happening here is we're not saying uh, here's, here's, the, um, here's the ciphers that we actually support uh, and then the server selects one, right? We're actually stating the cipher that we're going to choose, right? And that's going to be the Daphne Hellman, right? Um, in some instances, um, we also now can now do zero RTT, zero round trip, right? Um, for version 1.3. And this is during session resumption, right? So this is for a session that's already been established where the client says, hey, do you still remember me, right? Now, the disadvantage to that is you can have replay attacks with man in the middle. It can grab that client info and kind of like pretend that it's the client uh, and, and take over basically literally that, that conversation with the server. So again, zero round trip with session resumption, good from a performance perspective, not necessarily from a security perspective, right? Now, the next uh, category here where we have improvements of TLS 1.3 over 1.2 is the actual security aspects of it. So the first one here is, is that during this initial hello, okay, unlike in version 1.2 where we actually say, you know, what version of TLS we want to use, we are actually stating here that we want to use TLS 1.3, right? And then there's downgrade protection here in version 1.3. It's not going to downgrade to a lower, lesser version. In 1.2, there can be a man in the middle and it can grab that session and it can force that connection to come down to say an older version of SSL or TLS 1.0 that supports weak ciphers, right? Um, and by doing the weak ciphers, it can inject it and it can, it, it can exploit that, right? Here, this downgrade protection is not going to downgrade to 1.2. So there's that security improvement, the fact that, you know, with TLS 1.3, no, you know, it actually has downgrade protection here, right? Also, in version 1.2, as part of that hello, again, we're offering, uh, here's a bunch of ciphers that uh, I can support, right? In version 1.3, we're using Daffy Helmet, right? All those weak ciphers have actually been removed, right? So it's much more secure from that perspective, right? Um, so, so far we covered the, the removal of the ciphers and we also, uh, there is no version negotiation, right? So that, and also another key element here is, is that version 1.3 supports what we call a, E, A, D ciphers, right? So, so these are much more uh, secure ciphers and they're proved to be used with TLS 1.3. So there's that advantage as well, right? And then also, we also have perfect forward secrecy, right? So with perfect forward secrecy, you know, it's, you know, we do do that so that there's no, um, someone can't hack the private key and go back in our previous in any of the previous sessions and look at the history of that conversation, you know, it's unique for each session that's been set up, right? Um, so we're not sharing that private key um, and a new private key is being generated for every session, right? So, so that's a unique aspect for the perfect forward secrecy. So as you can see here, there are a number of key benefits of using uh, TLS version 1.3 in the categories of performance and security. Thank you.